Hello everyone, Happy New Year, 2nd of January 2021. Here's something. Just the beginning of a little song I wrote, just finished this morning actually, a um, short poem called Animals, about how they squawk and moo and make all those funny noises, which it turns out, according to new scientists, that's the origin of our music. Um, so the first musicians were actually the birds, long before we were even thought of millions of years, hundreds of millions of years in fact. Um, probably the greatest, biggest composers we have around now are the blue whales. According to many researchers, their songs, as we call them, have sonata form. <laughs> Get that, right? They have one tune, then another tune, and then a resolution between the two. Even the same species of whale in different parts of the world, they have a local dialect, a local harmony, with which they can tell which group they belong to. Despite the fact that these songs can actually travel hundreds, I'm not quite sure if it's even thousands of miles around the ocean, because of course, as you know, sound travels seven times faster in water. Do you remember those guys in the 70s who used to play the violin in the swimming pools? Anyway, I go off topic. So what I was going to talk about exactly is mandolin songs, why I like writing them. Um, having a break from the guitar these days, back on this thing which I really love. I mean, how can you argue with such a beautiful sound? Something about, I don't know, the plucked string. This is why mandolins, guitars and lutes, they don't sing, actually. They speak. They used to say about John Williams, the guitarist. Oh, he makes it talk. He makes the guitar talk. Yeah, he does. He doesn't make it sing. Violinists sing. Clarinetists sing. Cordophone players like me, we talk. I'm very good at talking, as you can see. <laughs> so anyway, um, why mandolin and voice? Uh, well, I'm pretty blessed with the singer I have at the moment, Sophia Brumford, who's singing in the break group um, with me, along with the viola player, Lowry Thomas. Um, so I, now I've got not that I needed much, but now I've got an excuse to write tons and tons of songs, uh, which we'll no doubt get to perform this year at some point when the rules change again. Um, and I think if you have a long line, like a, a voice or a viola or a violin or anything, yes, of course other long lines go with it. Of course they do. At the end of the day, you know, there's something just about a plug. It just wants to have a... But it doesn't really... It just, it invites length. Music works in two directions, in time and harmony that way. Um, with really great composers this way too. Some kind of third dimension, I don't know how they do it, but anyway. Um, and so it, it just feels, you know, with this thing being, you know, the ancestor of the lute and all those thousands of great lute songs, um, a good portion of which I've played through over the last 30 years with people. Um, it, it just feels very exciting time to be moving forward. And the soprano, which I have, Sophia, um, she has quite a really nice, deep, rich range as well, you know, so I can go above her or below her, and it, it always seems to work, you know. So, anyway, um, that's my first video of the year. I really hope this year goes really well for everybody. And, um, I mean, what could possibly go wrong?